Hey guys and gals, Nary here for Drake Wing Gaming. and some of you now on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings, a Dean's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming not safe for work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. Alright. We've got a long search ahead of us, and with a head start like that, there might be no end to it. We have to take our chances as long as we still can. Except that chance is growing smaller and smaller while we wait for the team to arrive. What even happened down there? Right. Keegan, tell us Keegan, tell us everything in as much detail as you can. There wasn't much to it. I heard a noise, I looked up, and the light fixture came down, then someone pushed me. You mean Reza. What makes you say that? Whoever it was was wearing a mask. It bloody well can't be someone else, so let's not kid ourselves here. Wait a minute, when we were down there, didn't you refer to him as a she? Did I? I don't know. Maybe you just heard it wrong. Maybe. Why would he wear that whole getup, though? Good point. This whole thing doesn't make any sense. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Your early theory about what happened was pretty sound, Sebastian. Let's go with that and add the bit about the generator being stolen. So now the question is, who has a motive for stealing a generator? Right. Who else would need to steal a generator when those who live here could either buy or even simply request one? Not to mention Reza was the one who arranged the diplomatic trade for the generators in the first place. Can't deny the fact that your generators are pretty important to us, but resorting to murder? We all saw the human figure running away. Why would he have stayed here? Oh, let's see. Now you're grasping at straws, Keegan. Why would he remain here if he was the one who stole it? The generator was already gone when we got here, and the person in question wasn't carrying it either. Perhaps this is a case of where the criminals return to the crime scene. For this kind of crime? I'd say no, but who knows? Maybe our rules just don't apply anymore. What do you mean? No offense, but ever since you two humans arrived, there's been a lot of strange things going on. This place used to be a quiet, this place used to be a quiet town. Maybe this, whole, maybe this is all a huge misunderstanding and you just need someone to talk to him. Let's put this into perspective. We found two corpses so far. Rez is the prime suspect, and you think all he needs is someone to talk to him? Sorry, but I'll be going with a no on that one. Maybe we should just focus on finding him and point fingers later. Agreed. The police team will be here any minute now. You don't want to have to, you don't have to get involved with the search, but that doesn't mean you can't help us. What do you want me to do? We still have a list of places we were going to check out, remember? We can't go now. The search takes priority. Of course, we st of course we'll still check out those places after we're done here, but if you go on your own, you can speed up the process. You can even find a lead for us. Who knows? <laughs> it has less to do with my staff and more to do with what I told you last time. You know him, and that gives you experience that can help us understand how he thinks. It's the kind of help we all really need. Hmm. In any case, here's a list. Considering your status, you shouldn't have any trouble in these places, but if anything happens, call me and I'll check up on you later. Wait a minute, you mean I'm going all by myself? All of us are going to be busy with the search, and we can't really afford to spare someone right now. You'll be fine. Aren't you worried I'll do something fishy? I mean, isn't that why Reza and I were assigned police escorts in the first place? That policy was mostly Maverick's fault, he's out of the picture. With my authority as chief, I say you can go alone. I already know where you're going, and besides, I trust you. If you were in cahoots with Reza, you would have run off with him when you had the chance. Good point. Ah, I see the team approaching. I guess you should get going. Alright, I'll see you later then. Good luck. It was a relief to leave the crime scene, considering all that had happened. When I reached in my pocket to take a look at the list, however, I found something unexpected. It was a small piece of paper with the word Tatsu written on it. How did it get there? My earlier encounter with the masked person was the only time today someone was close enough to smuggle something into my pocket. I figured if someone like if like if someone like Bryce tried to do something like that, I definitely would have noticed. As for Tatsu, the only related thing I could think of was Tatsu Park, which I had come across when I went to the police station the other day. Even if that park was the place the mysterious paper referred to, I didn't know if it was actually a good idea to visit. 
The masked person may have saved me from falling light from a falling light fixture, but if it was Reza, it would mean following someone who also is the prime suspect of two murders. I also had to consider the list of places Reza had been to. Local grocery store, the production facility we'd visit in the library were the, th were the three places were the three places closest to here. It certainly was gonna be a busy day, and I knew I wouldn't have time to visit all of them. What should I do? Um not too far. We'll do that one first. Maybe. Let's see. Right here. Y'all. See. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, I don't know where Aideen is. I miss my pretty Aideen. Tatsu Park, here I am. I don't know what I'm even looking for, though. Read the sign. This park is dedicated to our creator, to whom we owe our sentience and existence. It is as it is our duty to remember, this place honors them every day with its beauty and grants a place of recreation and contemplation to all of us. Map. This park is bigger than I thought. We can go north towards Tatsu Avenue, which apparently is a nice spot to look at the landscape, or south to the political district. Where should I go? Where's the shrubbery? Yeah, this totally won't look strange or suspicious. Here we go. Let's see. Take it down. I found some dirt. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Search the pavilion. Again, I guess I should look harder this time. Doesn't seem to be anything important here, but at least it provides excellent shade. Nope, nothing here. Let's, uh, look at the map. This park is bigger than I thought. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, let's go towards... Let's see what happened. First on the bench. Open the hatch. Finally, a place to sit down. Dude, the scenery is perfect. That was nice. I was just about to get up when I noticed someone sitting next to me. Oh! Whoa, I didn't see you there. I thought you were a statue or something. Hello? Well, oh, maybe it is a statue, or I just turned invisible. But it's not the ladder. Oh god, what is going on? Open the hatch. On the middle covering of the hatch, there are two buttons which are situated to the left and right of the center of a central circular lever. The arrow on the lever is pointing up. Uh... Press the first button. The first button is now pressed since it's flush with the metal covering of the hatch. Turn the lever clockwise. The arrow on the lever is now pointing to the right. Press the second button. The second button is now pressed and sits flush with the metal covering of the hatch. Uh, okay. Let's uh, turn. The arrow on the lever is now pointing down. I don't know how to open this damn thing, actually. Um, Press the second button. I think it was not for- okay. Nope, that didn't do a damn thing. Okay. Um... Alright, clockwise. Alright. Press the second button. Oh! I looked down to see the maintenance tunnels for the underground drain system. A uh, pale object starkly contrasts against the pitch black backdrop. Holy shit, how the hell did I get that? It's a cloth with suspicious red markings all over it. I guess that's all to be found down here. <laughs> yeah, dude's just like, yeah, I'm gonna drop down here. That's a great idea. Examine the fallen leaves. I don't recognize the species of this tree. Uh, okay, go back. Hmm, looks like now. Alright, let's do uh, look at the map. Uh, we'll go to the political district. Just as I entered the southern part of the park, I found myself tumbling to the ground when someone suddenly bumped into me. Ow! Oh. Sorry about that. Are you alright? Besides being a little dirtier than before, yeah, I think so. I should really look where I'm going. Sometimes I just get lost in my thoughts. Hey, I think you dropped this. Oh, thank you. Ghost stories, huh? Yep. Oh, I should probably go before the bookstore closes. Bye. What's up? Uh, bye. There's someone sitting on the benches. Approach the dragon. Oh, her. This grouchy. This grouchy tail. What 
what a most pleasant surprise to be meeting you here, Keegan. Do you know who I am? And what brings you here today, Keegan? I'm not quite sure of that myself. Ah, oh, the park does have an appeal that naturally draws people in. I would know, since I'm partly responsible for creating it. Have you seen the north side yet? If not, you totally should. It's just so pretty this time of year. You created this park? Well, some of it. Do you see the building behind me? That's where I work. Do you want to know a secret? The park was built here so I could enjoy going outside on my breaks, like right now, for example. Speaking of your work, Remy works for you, right? I just met him the other day. Oh, Remy, quite a little nerd, isn't he? Have you seen his malformed ears? I want to laugh every single time I see him. Not very nice. Be that as it may, I just can't help it. Can I ask you a question? You can ask, for sure, but whether I can answer or not is, is another question. What would you like to know? Where is it? What do you think about us visiting this world? You and Reza. Well, I think it is about the most exciting thing that has happened here in the last few years. It certainly has been a nice distraction from the other boring things I have to do at work. How so? Arranging your arrival was partly my responsibility. In fact, I would have been at the portal to welcome you myself if something didn't come up at the last second. About our job. Can you tell me more about your job? I could, but I think overall it's a very boring affair. It involves a lot of reading and talking and improving or rejecting forms and projects. It has its perks, but in some ways I'll certainly be happy when my term is over. If you've been if you've been minister once, that's something people will remember you for, even if those times are long past. No one can ever take that away from you again. You mentioned your term ending. How does that work here? Thank you. Know, water time. And if y'all hear any screaming, it's there's little kids playing outside. They're being loud little shits, you know, like little kids tend to do. We, the ministers, serve our term, and then someone else takes our place. Only one minister changes at a time, though. Technically speaking, any person can become a minister, though there are certain standards and requirements that must be met in order to apply for office. I don't want to bore you with the details, as that too would be a long and tedious affair. It's about Tatsu Park. Can you tell me more about Tatsu Park? Well, I'm not sure there is much to say about it. It's just opened recently. I think the initial request was for more open spaces, like a dedicated place for people to gather and such. If you read the plaque, you would know that the park was dedicated to our so-called creator. I say created like that because I think that word is a bit of a misnomer, but I suppose people still use it regardless. That's all. I suppose I should be getting back to work anyway. Well, thank you for this most pleasant conversation, Keegan. All right. Stop searching the park. I don't think I'll find anything else here. Some time left. What should I do? Uh, is where is a uh, best girl? Where's the best girl at? Hey Dean, where are you, hey Dean? Oh, that's Anna. No. It's, uh... No, no, no. Actually, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Uh, y'all in the comments, let me know where where uh, Aideen is. I would appreciate that. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank y'all for I do for the channel. We greatly appreciate the support. Thank you, Red Silver, to your patron, Kate Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to not safe for more contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye!